a historical moment for China's fight against the COVID-19, as the country lifted quarantine measures for inbound passengers. The new policy is, of course, welcomed by many travelers. It is indeed a good news. I saw some of my friends have already traveled to Europe and posted photos in WeChat moments. I would also love to visit France, Germany, and other European countries. I am a postgraduate student. Currently, I don't have any plan to travel abroad because I don't have so many leisure time. But indeed, many of my friends who study abroad said they would love to come back this spring festival because it's much more convenient. Beijing Daxing International Airport is going to welcome its first batch of international travelers from January 17th. And the passenger flights operated by the Himalaya Airlines is back to arrive in the Chinese capital from the Nepalese capital city of Kathmandu. China's civil aviation sector is well into its winter and spring flight season. During the five-month period until March 25th, officials have planned for around 840 international flights, a year-on-year -year increase of over 105%. To welcome international and regional travelers, Daxing International Airport have warmed up ourselves with initiatives on market strategy, operational enhancement, equipment maintenance, procedure refinement, and personal training. And as early as last December, we made sure that we would be ready for the resumption of international flights as of January 8th. Commercial airlines are also encouraged to open more international routes. For example, Air China has resumed routes such as Beijing, Singapore, Chongqing, Seoul, as well as Hangzhou, Osaka. And passengers can fly China's southern airlines to go from Guangzhou to Dubai, as well as from Wuhan to Bangkok. China's southern airlines will hold drills together with Daxing International Airport on January 10th to welcome our international and regional passengers. And starting from January 17th, we will resume the flight between Beijing and Hong Kong SAR. At the same time, we are also applying for routes to Japan and to South Korea from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. Meanwhile, Chinese authorities have also said the country would provide more convenience for cross-border travelers when appropriate. Yu Yang, CGTN, Beijing.